Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I am going to reveal how you can literally double your agency's revenue without doubling the workload. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome back to the video. So like I said in the introduction, how can you double your agency's revenue without doubling the workload? And uh, for this, I uh, basically need to give you guys a bit of an, uh, an anecdote on our own agency. Uh, just before the corona hit, we actually uh, got great results for one of our dentist clients. Uh, we had two on at the time. Um, well, we actually started with one, of course. We got great results for that one dentist. Um, and then thought to ourselves, okay, well, how, you know, let's go out and find more dentists because if we're getting results for dentist one, then surely we can get the same results for dentist two. So we got one dentist in the UK and then we started looking in the US um, for another dentist client. We managed to get a second dentist client on as well. And what we literally did was we just duplicated the entire funnel from start to finish. Um, so the flow was add to a landing page where they can basically, you know, schedule a free dental implant consultation. And then from there, they were uh, basically sent to a thank you page where there was also the number of the dental practice where they can phone up directly. So the lead that we captured was also sent to the dentist and the dentist rang uh, the lead up and said, okay, we know what time would you like to schedule your appointment? And then on the thank you page, we also told the customer or the lead to call the dentist. So we've got like from two ways, you know, they're both trying to get in contact with each other and the flow was really, really effective. We got an insane amount of leads for dental implants um, customers and you know for those of you that are familiar with the, the dentist industry you know a dental implant can cost anywhere from like one to, to 3k for a tooth you know so let alone your, your, your whole set of teeth you know imagine if you want to get like 10 teeth done at the same time that's a very big um, you know bit of chunk of revenue basically for our dentist clients and like I said we literally duplicated the funnel from the UK dentist to the US dentist everything from the zaps that we set up in Zapier. Uh, we literally just used the exact same landing page. We changed the logo and changed the domain URL, but other than that, it was the exact same landing page. Then we looked at the targeting. We did the exact same targeting as well, be it in the US and you know, with a different location. But other than that, you know, the interest-based targeting that we set up, the images were identical. Just you know, the, only, the only difference was the logo. Um, we even used the same videos and so on and so forth. We literally just duplicated everything from start to finish. And, First of all, you know there was no any, there was there were no issues because one is in the UK and one is in the US. They don't know of each other. Uh, we don't use any um, like logos or branding from dentist one to dentist two, so it's completely separate, but it's also identical at the same time. And what we noticed was that's the first dentist that we got on was our first dentist ever as well. And we spent the good part of an entire Sunday researching the dentist industry, the dentist niche, you know, what to say, what pain points do customers of dentists have? Um, you know, how do we get in contact with the audience? What works for them? What kind of flow works for them? What doesn't work for them? What can we learn from other people that have set up flow for dentists as well? And like I said, you know, we spent the good part of an entire Sunday figuring all this stuff out setting up uh, campaigns, testing what works and what doesn't. And then when we got that second dentist on, it was just so much easier because we knew what worked and what didn't. We knew uh, what kind of flow to set up. We knew what to track and what not to track. We knew what interests worked and what interests didn't. We knew what kind of images worked and which images didn't. And we literally just took all of the winning assets, all of the winning campaigns, the winning images, the winning interest from the first dentist and we just duplicated it for the second dentist and we hit the ground running for the second dentist because what worked for dentist one also worked for dentist two because despite the fact they're in different countries, the flow is still the same. And you know, if um, a dental implant customer wants to go to a dentist, whether that is in the UK or the US, the flow and the whole thought process and the buyer behavior is still the same. And that brings me, basically brings me to this video. What you want, what you need to do now if you want to double your agency's revenue, is look at your best performing clients. So what are they doing in terms of revenue? What is their profit margin? How are you performing for them? What kind of return ad spend are you getting for them on average? And just think to yourself, okay, how can I find another client just like this? 
know, whether that is a meal delivery service, whether that is a local gym or local personal trainer, whether that is a high-end e-com brand, how can you find another client like that? Because you need to think about the 80-20 principle. So 80% of the results or 80% of your agencies, like revenue, etc., will come from 20% of the clients and vice versa. So 80% of the work will also come from 20% of the clients. So you need to think to yourself, okay, you know, what clients am I really struggling to get results for? But are they, you know, are constantly messaging me, constantly wanting changes, etc. And you basically need to shy away from clients like that. And then look at your agency's clients and think to yourself, okay, what clients am I getting insane results for? What clients are just a pleasure to work with? What clients can I get along with? And then go out and find more clients like that. Because let's say, for example, you do have a personal training client on. Um, it's a personal training client that offers online coaching as well, for example. And this this person, you know, you've set up a flow, a funnel, um, you've got everything set up, you know what images work for this client, you know what copy works for this client. Then if you go out and find another client like that, then all you'll need to do is just copy and paste the winning combination, so the winning assets, the winning funnel, the winning tracking, copy that, paste it onto the new client, and you know, without putting in any additional research, any additional work, you know, you'll notice that you'll get similar, if not the same or better results. And that is my biggest piece of advice for you guys today is look at your current, you know, selection of clients, find the one that you are getting the best kind of results for, and then start creating like a, a mini portfolio of this client, standard operating procedures for this client. What copy works, you know, add that to the folder. What images are best performing? You know, upload those into the folder. How is the tracking set up? Upload that into the folder. What kind of zaps have you set up with Zapier? Add that to the folder. If it's an e-com client and you set up Clavio, what emails got you the highest return on investment? What emails got the most people back onto the store after they've abandoned cost? What, um, you know, what copy worked for the catalog sales campaigns and so on and so forth, okay? And once you have like this, like standard operating procedures uh, folder, on you know, whatever it is, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever you want, um, go out and find another client like that. And then when you do get on that second client that is identical to the first client, just copy and paste everything over. And the great thing about this is we can hit the ground running for client number two because we've already been through all that testing with client number one. So what you can duplicate or what you can copy over for client number two, like I said, winning images, winning copy, winning interests, um, the Zap, so if you set up Zapier for these clients, you can copy that over as well. Clavio emails as well. And obviously it is a bit of a gray area. It is a bit of a black hat method, but what you can even do for client number two or client number three is use the pixel data from client number one. So if you notice that, let's say you've got one big client with a lot of pixel data and you run a lookalike audience off of that, or you've got this big email list, even better, then what you can do is upload that for client number two. Again, I'm saying you can, I'm not saying it's ethical. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying it's possible. What you can do is upload the email list from client number one to client number two and run a lookalike audience in that specific area of client number two off of the email list of client number one. That way you're not targeting the same audience, it's just a lookalike audience because you know the audience way for client number one. So if you find an audience that looks like that audience, then surely it would work for client number two as well. But like I said, I'm not telling you, I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying it is possible and it would be an effective method. Okay, so that is all I've got for today's video. I hope you got some out of this. It is a short and sweet video. I don't want to beat around the bush, you know, like I said, that is literally what I've discovered over the last um, periods. You know, we've gotten um, a few clients that are now all sorts in the same niche and like very specifically, so not only the same like industry and niche, but like literally identical clients. We've got a four or five now on and it is so easy. We're just duplicating what works. And then we've got one client with a bigger budget where we do a bit more testing for, and then we've got a client with a smaller budget. And you know, we basically just do what, what works for that one client. And the one client with the smaller budget, everything that, that, that's basically set up, it just turns to gold because we know on the back end, we've got other clients that we're doing the testing for, and we know what works and what doesn't. And that is also a very easy way of still testing out for clients if they've got a smaller budget, because you can do testing on other accounts with bigger budgets. But like I said, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, then please leave this video with a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more because I am bringing out as much content as I possibly can to help you get your agency up and running or to push it to the next level if you notice that you've basically hit that glass ceiling and you don't know what to do next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.